It's been a rough work day The boss is busting your ass All you can think of is a nice cold glass of beer and sunshine Life can get you down But you can take all the lids Nothing in this world out of beer and sunshine Cannot fizz Oh, it's a beautiful day for some beach in a tan Grab a few friends, put your feet in the sand With some beer and sunshine Oh, ho, oh, beer and sunshine Yeah, beer and sunshine Ha-ha! Hey! It's that time again! Thanks for tuning in to another Beer and Sunshine. I'm Tommy Thompson. This is Who? Christina Le I haven't Tommy seen Thompson. You, I haven't seen you in like forever. It and, feels like it. And I that's know. not Tommy's I beard. I usually have more of a beard. This is technically not a beard. You suck. This, wow. <laughs> well, that's all right. It grows back. It's free. So I tell my wife. She's like, what did you do? I'm like, it's fun with facial hair, you know? Uh, okay. That's <clears throat> a whole game that's between you and your wife oh, that we yes, don't need yes, to well, talk well. about. But to, to, uh, so today's going to be a fun show. We have... Yes. Uh, Sean from the Florida Brewers Guild. She is here. <laughs> funny, funny enough, though. Funny, funny enough. The Florida Brewers Guild. The show is literally called Beer and Sunshine. He didn't bring us any beer. Nothing. He brought us nothing. I make it. I make it possible for beer to get to you. Well, yes. hey, all right, exactly. I'll take that. And that's that's the main thing to yeah, make it possible sure. for beer to get to us. Well, hey, here's here's the good news. The good news is we got beer for him, right? Yes, we do. Our beer is sponsored by Marker Forty Eight. I'll drink to that. We've got Mo, well, Cheers. I had Mo say it. <laughs> Mo say it. That's mm -hmm. one of the Marker Forty Eight mm -hmm. beers. And the most well, and and all right, so we'll we'll get back to that. We'll talk about that in a. We also have, uh, I, my wife and I have some good friends in Michigan, uh, near University of Michigan. I forget what town that is. Lansing, maybe? But uh, huge box shows up in the mail, massive box, really heavy, and they sent us like a dozen different beers. So I brought a couple today. One of them happens to be my most favorite IPA in the world, which is from Charlotte, North Carolina, so no reference to Michigan there. But then the other beer that I brought is actually from Michigan that I've never tried, and they like are nuts about it. So... We'll I'm break up. that out maybe in the next segment or something I and try some. I am up. So what did you end up getting up to this weekend, well, last I tell weekend? You, so yesterday well, is, I think, is all I need to talk about because yesterday was, was pretty awesome. I went and saw uh, some of our acquaintances. Mm -hmm. Now I would consider very close friends, like almost family. I went to uh, Calusa Brewing in Sarasota, my neck of the woods. Met up with uh, uh, Jordy and his brother Vic. And uh, we're talking to them about getting them on the show, that kind of thing. I, then I went to Brew Life. Brew Life used to be a tap house called the Beer Box, also in Sarasota. Mick and Tom, great guys. Uh, Mick will be on the show. I think Tom's a little shy. And he's Aww. too bad. He's handsome. Big, huge beard. Looks crazy like a mad scientist. They make some pretty good beer, too. I actually had something there yesterday. It was amazing. It was like a brown ale, which is, it was ridiculous. So we'll get those guys. And then I went to harass J-Dubs. I talked to Taylor over there. Because uh, I've been asking those guys to be on the show Hi, since we started, like a year and a half ago, <laughs> and uh, they're just so busy and popular, yeah. and it was crazy there last night. You should have seen all the people that showed up and the crazy events they were having. It was nuts. Yesterday, Fun. I went and checked on some, some breweries. I went to Marker 48 to pick up the beer, walked in, and Matt, hi Matt, was actually behind the bar. Wearing a beer and sunshine shirt. So now was Matt, pretty... Matt from Marker Forty Eight, Matt, yeah. or Matt from uh... no, nope. Matt from Marker Forty Eight was behind serving serving beer, had a, a beer and sunshine shirt on. So I was pretty excited about that. Got to talk to some people there about who we are and what we do and how we support the breweries in the in the local area and all around Florida and of course now with this all over the world. Yeah, the whole freaking world. The whole freaking world. Anybody and, in the world can watch the show. They probably are watching the yeah, show, actually. And speaking of the world, we have the World Wide Web. People can actually um, tweet us questions now, at Beer and Sunshine. Um, Angela from the Pasco Brewers Guild and Jason Coper are watching, so... Nice. Hi. Mr. Coper, hello there. Um, in our um, studio audience, I think um, Chicken has a special guest for us. Oh, gosh. To bring Why? out. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Who is married to Jeff from the uh, Pasco Brewers Guild, and she is the birthday princess today. Yes. So she is, she's awesome. She's really funny. If Christina ever gets hit by a bus, <laughs> I mean, I really hope that that doesn't happen. But if it does, Thanks, she's going to be the co host. Yeah. Okay. And then if <laughs> I get hit by a bus, sweetheart. then, you know, her husband will take over and have Jeff and Nicole, and it'll be a totally different show. Yeah. So probably so much better. So much yeah. better. 
Oh, look in that camera? Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. So, um, you know, there should be little lights <laughs> that flash or somebody going in so, front of the camera, like slapping their hands. To get my last hands. weekend was um, Rebel Dog's one year anniversary. You guys went to that? We went to that. Yes, and I, I uh, we had fun with fun. that. There was um, a traveling gentleman did some playing and I'm stuff. I'm a traveling gentleman. He was, well. I drove three he hours traveled. to get here today. <laughs> I think I'm, I qualifies. So, and um, today actually is uh, well, it's National Mac and Cheese Day. <sighs> I know, Somebody no mac and cheese. Nobody either. told me about that one. It's also um, I have some pictures if uh, the producer wants to put those What's up. What's the day? What's it's National Nudity Day. Yes. Whoa. Nice. <laughs> yeah. That's what I look like naked. I don't know where the bearskin rug ends and where it begins. There should be like, a Trans Am in the background. Oh! Another Trans Am. Was this, that's oh! oh my. Put your clothes on. Gosh. I knew it was a chick under there. Yeah. No oh. fun intended. Oh. Oh. I wrote that just now. I just wrote that. Oh. Oh. You better hide your chicken nuggets. Whoa. <laughs> Things just got foul. Oh, that's bizarre. Oh, did you hear that? I didn't see oh. that coming. Yeah, I don't have $20. What are you talking about, <laughs> lap dances? No, no, no. He lap dances for chicken feed. He's fine. Oh, thank goodness. And cool. you know what? Today was also Krispy Kreme Donut Day. Yes, it was. Unity, so, Krispy Kreme, there's a Trans Am connection, all my favorite things. Well, you know, and the connection between donuts and nudity is depending on how well endowed you are, you can carry a dozen or half a dozen. <laughs> and it also depends on how excited you are. Or, <laughs> or I'm just saying, you can carry a donut and a half, maybe? Well. Two donuts? <laughs> oh, Tommy, oh. say hi oh, to your wife. My wife just said hi. Yeah. <laughs> Five donuts. I was Five kidding. Donuts. Five to six donuts. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so I won't ask how many donuts that you can carry. We don't really need I, to Well, know. you'll never know, will you? Well, you're about to find out. Woo! <laughs> it is National Nudity Day. Thank you, chicken. My younger days, I'm sure I would have disrobed. Not, uh, not, you in don't your younger see days. That. What was Ratings. that, a week ago? A Ratings. week ago? <laughs> Viewership. You know, I don't want to lose any more viewers than we probably already have, thanks to this chicken. But, uh... Well, let's 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 uh, let's talk to Sean here. Yes. So Sean Nordquist is from the Florida Brewers Guild. So thank you for for coming thanks, on. For, thanks for inviting I, me. I know you're tired. He has <clears throat> jet lag. <laughs> he flew in from Mexico, like. Yes, yesterday, yesterday. Yeah, I got in yeah. yesterday morning. Yeah, we uh, we took a family vacation. Um, we've been in the, in the planning for for about a year. Um, it was my my parents' fiftieth um, anniversary, both of their seventy fifth birthday. My wife and I's twentieth anniversary. Um, my son graduated high school. Uh, I mean, just all all this stuff happened well, within, within the past year. So we congratulations on the fifty yeah. years. That's for yeah. sure. And what what kind of car do you drive? What kind of car do I what, drive? What are you driving out there? What, we, there was <laughs> there was somebody sitting in the parking lot. I went outside to to grab a couple of things for my car and I there was a car sitting there and the music was loud and I heard burp, 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 burp. and yeah. I figured that with your Mexico trip yeah you're right and actually that was that was me and the Toyota Scion out there That's Toyota and Scion. I, I, I was, was about to start salsa dancing and out I there. was I was listening to uh, to that song Despacito actually oh, <laughs> so, yes. you, so you got me have you, yes. seen, have you seen the the, the uh, funny meme or the, the there's a video on Facebook of some guy and it says when you're listening to your favorite song or something and you have to like sing and so it's just this guy, it's a white guy and he's, like, he's just listening to music and he's in a crowd and you see people in the background all of a sudden he starts with headphones on and he can't sing he's not a good singer <laughs> he's blaring nice. out the words and mm -hmm. it is hysterical because it goes from one scene to the next of him just singing in public oh uh, well speaking, like freaking out speaking yeah. of that song i saw one and there's this little girl and she's spanish and she loves that so she's a justin bieber fan loves that song and her father videotapes her and He's constantly playing it, and whenever he plays it, she dances. Doesn't sure. matter. So she's in the grocery store, and he plays it, and then she's laughing. And the next shot, they're out eating. And by the end of it, she's kind of like, "Dad, okay, enough." enough. And you've seen the videos with the chihuahuas that dance. They yes. Do this thing, right? <laughs> they do that. So the little girl, the chihuahuas, they're all Hispanic. You play music, they start dancing. I'm Hispanic. I almost started dancing because I heard that. It's something in our DNA, I think, maybe. Or the rice and beans. The rice and beans make me dance. <laughs> so did you get to taste any beers while you were in Mexico? We did, and actually, I mean, so generally speaking, the the, the mass-produced Mexican beer is very similar to the mass-produced American mm -hmm. beer. However, we were on uh, Isla Mujeres, which is an island just off Cancun. It's about four miles long and half a mile wide, so it's not a very big island. But there is a new craft brewery that just opened on the island this year. A craft brewery. A craft in brewery, and it's called it's called Isla Brewing Company. Nice. And 
it's tiny, but they are making some fantastic beer. So everything from a really light uh, golden ale for the sort of you know the, the transition beer, getting right, through, right, sure. um, you know they make an IPA, they make a pale ale, um, a, a, and they do a uh, a porter that that they use uh, vanilla and rum with, which Ooh, is really nice. Whoa. And then they also have one, uh, it's called Jamaica Mi Loco, <laughs> and it's, they, they, they use, um, uh, you know, they use some, some flowers and stuff in it, it uh, hibiscus, uh, and it, it's a really nice and light, but it, it a really kind of cool uh, reddish color to it, so that's really nice too. So they're doing real well, I mean, they're real small, they're doing some bottling, they're doing um, kegs and stuff locally, so you can find them in a couple of the restaurants and bars around on Isla. Um, but that was a great little find, you know, especially being a beer guy. Mexico, you don't typically think of, of really good beers coming from Mexico. No. I mean, their thing is tequila, and yeah. there's some great tequila Did down there. <laughs> they're really good tequila down there. But it was great to find some good beers down there as well. And, and if they're Isla Brewing, is it what they're Isla called? Brewing Company, Isla yeah. Isla Brewing Company. Yeah. So, so if yeah, you guys are watching, Isla you Brewing Company, there. call us. Give us a shout. And, uh, Let's get Cer you on the show. Cervezas. Cervezas. Cervezas de Isla. <laughs> yeah, with, we'll come to them. With a little lime. Yeah. Oh, it, so real quick, we're about to go to commercial. Before we go to commercial, the game today, if you guys watch the show, we, we also we try and teach you a new drinking game. We've got a Chinese <laughs> drinking game <laughs> called Ju Ling. And it's, uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, two people would go. You like, you shoot. You're going to do either one, two, or three fingers. And when you shoot at the same time, the person you're shooting against, you have to guess what the total is of your two, you know, finger things, right? So one throw the two, the other three. So if you guess a three, you're going to yell out a phrase that has the number three in it. So you'd say like, three chickens laying eggs or something. And as long as you get the three in there, that's your guess, right? But you do it at the same time. So you blurt it out at the same time. Well, you're used to people giving you the finger, so. Absolutely. It actually works sure. out pretty good. <laughs> the word of the day is cornhole. No. <laughs> well, let's cornhole this chicken and take a break. We'll yes. be right back. We'll be right yeah. back. <laughs> Hello. I hope everybody went and got themselves yeah. a tasty, a frothy. A cold one. Yep. A frosty adult a frosty beverage. Went. I hope everybody has one. Well, this is, like I said, my favorite at Marker 48 is the Mo Say It. It was my favorite until I was there yesterday. They have a new one called High Tide, and it's spelled T-H-A-I apostrophe D. And it oh, okay. has sticky rice and mango and coconut. No way. And it is so I, good. I'm dying to get to Marker 48. I still haven't been there yet, but I hear they're in uh, Brooksville, basically, right? Wikiwachi. Wikiwachi, Brooksville yeah. area. And supposedly Mark 48 has, or apparently, Marker 48 has one of the coolest tasting rooms. It's one of the coolest breweries. There's always so much going on there. And We have really actually good. somebody on the Twitter want to know if we're taking questions. So, yeah, if you oh, want to tweet us a here. question. Thumbs up right at the bottom of the screen. I like yeah. that. Excellent. You can ask Sean a question. You can ask Tommy a question. Yeah. You can ask us to punch chicken in the face. Whatever. We'll do that. Ask tell, me anything. Tell that chicken I'm watching anything. from the Ask D. Me anything. Oh, that's Jason. I'll tell you the truth. I think you and, I think <laughs> you and Jason kind of had it. Yeah. <laughs> the chicken. The chicken is chicken. <laughs> um, uh, by, so, by the way, uh, friends of ours from Michigan sent down a bunch of beers. I've got a couple of them here. Uh, this first one is a Michigan beer, which we're going to crack open from Old Nation Brewing Company. It's called M43. They are absolutely in love with this beer. It's a New England India Pale Ale. What, what can you tell us about a New England? What should we expect out of a New England pale ale? So, if it's awesome? it's it's a new it's it's a new style. Um, basically, uh, that's just sort of come about. And typically, they're going to be cloudy. Uh, people refer to them as juicy. Uh, they refer to them as uh, some people call them turbid uh, in the way that they look. It looks um, cloudy. Oh, okay. So yeah, so um, it it can be somewhat controversial. Uh, because there are people who a, think that, I'll have a look. Um, I have that one too, but I'll who, have a use, look. who like to use the term "hazy" is lazy, um, but uh, but there's some. You know, I've had some that are fantastic. Uh, I've had some that were not great. Um, I think that if it's done well, it can be a great style. Um, but I think that's true of any beer. So if this is your urine Anybody sample, you're this? in trouble. <laughs> right. Yes. Yeah, see a doctor immediately. Yeah. See a doctor. If it comes out like this, yeah, you have something wrong. Believe it or not, guys, that beautiful lady who was on camera before, that's her husband. Get a look at this guy. Yeah. Wow. He really went. He, he really swung for the fences and hit a homer, huh? 
So, no, Sean. He's handsome. He's very handsome. I just want to, for our, our viewers out there in TV land and, of course, our um, audience guests. Ooh. Good. Can you yeah. please explain to everybody out there what the Florida Brewers like Guild is, how it got started, and how you got started with it? Sure. So, the, so generally speaking, the guild um, it's similar to any other uh, sort of trade association. Uh, we represent the brewers of Florida. We represent their business interests for the legislature, for uh, for consumers, for advocacy, that sort of thing. We help uh, new breweries. Um, you know, if, if they need guidance and finding finding partners, finding uh, other businesses to work with, that sort of thing, we can help them sort of chart the path. Because now we using the sort of the collective wisdom and power of the guild, uh, lots of people have uh, have been through all the all the really tough stuff, and so there's a lot of great uh, camaraderie and uh, and helping people out mm -hmm. with with getting getting started. Um, on the legislative side, we have. Uh, in-house counsel and a lobbyist uh, who works to promote uh, legislation that uh, is beneficial to brewers uh, in the state of Florida. So that's, uh, if you're familiar with what we had to go through with uh, getting growlers, mm -hmm. uh, getting 64 ounce growlers in the state, uh, that was through the efforts of the Florida Brewers Guild. Oh, that's a, and, um, and you're the executive director. I am now the executive director. I've, I've only been on board a few months now. Um, I've been involved with the uh, the beer scene in Tampa Bay and in Florida for nearly 10 years now. Uh, I was one of the uh, early members, uh, founding members of Tampa Bay Beer Week, mm -hmm. uh, and served on that board up until earlier this year when my term ended uh, as chair. Uh, I've been writing about beer for about 10 years. Uh, I've been doing, you know, uh, various. I've been writing about beer my whole life. I will never drink again. Yeah. I, uh -huh. I will never drink again. I never got, got quite so far to actually write that down. So. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I got I got involved that way. Uh, I've um, I've never worked in the brewing industry uh, officially, other than to be a writer until now, uh, you know, representing the guild. Um, but really, you know, I, I'm, you know, my job is to. Uh, to do whatever the breweries of Florida need uh, so they can be successful. And we had, um, somebody had tweeted in before, um, Gary, Gary Como from Washington. Washington State. What up, Gary? What up, Gary? And, and He's spreading the word, she, and somebody else in, also in said that the um, Florida Brewers Guild is a great organization. Somebody and, and had said that on Also, there. shout out to uh, uh, Katie and Andy Minus. Thanks for sending us these mm. awesome beers. Oh, yeah, They're delicious. Can't wait to crack this sucker open. It is good. And <clears throat> something I've been wondering, this is probably going to be, this is going to show what a moron I am. I don't claim to be any kind of a genius anymore. Maybe back in the day I was a little smarter <laughs> than I am now, but I drank a lot and it's, it's, it's worn me down. Th so the word guild, why the word guild? Why not association? What's the difference between an association and a guild? I think guild, I mean, it goes back to the trade guilds of old, to the, you know, to the blacksmith's guild, to the, um, to the merchant's guild. So mm -hmm. you had associations of businesses that work together uh, for a common cause. And I think that the name has uh, has just sort of stuck. Um, some people use association. Uh, in fact, for for nationally, you have the Brewers Association, uh, which is, you know, does, you know, handles things on a national level for um, for interests of breweries, for, um, you know, whether it's legal stuff, whether it's, uh, you know, distribution stuff, whatever it might be. Uh, so they're the Brewers Association or the Florida Brewers Guild. I think those terms are probably interchangeable, but guild is sort of one of those throwback terms that most states use now, actually, for their... I like it. It sounds old school. I just imagine imagine guys wearing wearing leather uh, uh, aprons. You imagine apron, guys wearing smashing, leather? Sm smashing hops with hammers, big hammers. <laughs> Yeah, we do that. We do that too. It's you know, it's a lot it's, of sparks. It's one of the pri the private yeah. ceremonies. Sure. <laughs> Man, what do you guys think? This is delicious. This huh? is really nice. It's not this bad. is really nice. Digging I like this time. a lot. I do like that right. one. So, um, you had said that you had done some work with the uh, Tampa Beer Week. Right, Tampa Bay Beer Week. Yeah. So, what made you decide to get involved with the uh, the guild and work with them? Um, I mean, I've I've known many members of the guild for a long time. Uh, I've uh, worked with them. Uh, you know, we were partners with them. At, you know, just Tampa Bay Beer Week uh, historically has kicked off with the Florida Brewers Guild Festival, okay. which is a big festival over in Tampa. Uh, breweries from, from you know from all over the state come, and people get to try their beers. Um, so we've known you know we've worked together for a long time. Uh, the position became available. The, the previous uh, executive director moved on to other stuff, and uh, position became available. I was interested in making this a full time a full time thing. And uh, and it worked out. 
So that's good. Wow. That's very exciting. Living, very exciting living, for living me. Living the dream. Living the dream yes. here in Florida. Yeah. So um, also, I was doing some background work, and I think you guys also offer a scholarship for people who are interested in going and learning about brewing. We here. do. So every every year. Uh, People from breweries around around the state they have to work for an existing brewery, uh, and they are nominated by typically the owner of the brewery or their colleagues or somebody uh, to receive what is called the Doble Scholarship, uh, and it's named after um, uh, uh, John Doble, uh, who worked who worked at Tampa Bay Brewing Company. I've heard that uh, name. It, actually, that's how I've heard that name. Yeah. So, so the, the Doble family owns Tampa Bay Brewing Company. Yeah. Uh, John was. Uh, are they still in Ebor City? They are in Ebor City, and they are also in West Chase. So they have two locations uh -huh. now. Okay. Uh, both have restaurants, fantastic restaurants. I know. Uh, I, I remember when I was, you know, a younger fella in my twenties, living in Tampa. I used to go there for lunch all the time. Mm -hmm. That was, I think, probably the first time I really heard the term craft beer. Was going there and, and, and drinking their their beers, which it was so intriguing to me because it's like, wow, you guys make this here, and you can see the yeah, the and, and, and they are one of the oldest in the state. Yeah, right. Um, so um, I don't want to interrupt. But I have somebody here that actually had a really good question for Sean, sure. so I'm going to okay. read it. Yeah. Fire um, Lisa Sabota wants to know, she said, there's been a great deal of positioning and commentary in recent months by the National Trade Organization of Craft Breweries, as well as various beer media and publications on moving and advancing the industry away from labeling, advertising, and marketing concepts that are reasonably considered offensive, derogatory, or distasteful. How does or how is the Florida Brewers Guild processing these initiatives, and do they plan to join and collaborate in these efforts to further develop the progressive and professional reputation of the beer industry in Florida? Hi, Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> I know Lisa well. Okay. Uh, and uh, and she and I have actually uh, had some conversations uh, along those same lines. Um, Has she been uh, to your house for a barbecue? She is not. She'd do you not. think she'll ever be at your house for a barbecue? You never know. You never, you know she do you think she'll invite you to her house for a barbecue? She might very well. <laughs> huh. I, it was a very long, uh, you know, I'm somewhat ADD. I got lost halfway through there. So, you lost me. I'm sorry. I apologize. Okay. I, I, I know exactly where she's coming from. We've had conversations about, uh, about inclusivity and about um, <clears throat> trying to move away from some of the... Uh, you know some of the objectification of women in in mm -hmm. uh, in labeling and in beer names and things like that. Um, while the 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 guild doesn't have a a, posi a, a a an official position on 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 it at this point, um, th th I think one of the things that that we are definitely moving towards is more inclusivity, more diversity, uh, and I think that that becomes. Uh, part and parcel of that because it's it's really hard to be inclusive of people when you're not really being inclusive. <laughs> <laughs> Lisa said she likes barbecue. <laughs> yes, <laughs> we like barbecue Lisa, chicken. What, what, and what is what? How have you run into Lisa in the past? Have so you so Lisa off? Lisa is uh, uh, has been very active in the in the homebrew <laughs> scene in the brewery brewery scene. Uh, she's been to um, I've I've actually uh, put on some classes for. Uh, you know, like we sort of like beer 101 stuff when I worked uh, for the college. Uh, we put on some um, history of beer classes. I've known Lisa for a long time. She, she's been to a bunch of my cool. classes. Well. We've been at festivals together. <laughs> so yeah, we, Lisa, we, you're invited. <laughs> Email Christina at beerandsunshine.beer. Let's have you on the show. Come on. Lisa come on. would be a great guest to that have on the show like because it. she's, she's like really, real, really dialed in. She knows beer and she's also really smart. And she's so. a fast typer because that was a long question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good. No, no, I didn't see any And, and I'm hoping that that when I read it, it came across as the question that she wanted to ask. Oh, I, I, I knew as soon as you started what she was asking. Oh, so, okay. Good. Yeah, it's something that she and I have he talked about. So minds. basically, so he basically reads minds. Lisa doesn't want girls in bikinis selling beer. Exactly. How about cheeseburgers? Are you cool with that, Lisa? Because there's that Hardy's commercial so, that so if you, you want, have a problem with it, you I, want, I rescind my invitation. You want cheeseburgers selling beer? Have you seen that Hardy's commercial with the girl with the cheeseburger laying in the car with the hose? And the, Anyway, I'm kidding. I'm an <laughs> alcoholic comedian, that's all. I'm not, I'm not a smart person. But listen, you, before we go to commercial here in another minute, you, you guys do, have you, to try you this. Do? Oh, you drink way too slow for a guy well, who I was is talking. the, oh, you the you man at the brewery. This is, this is the one that you like. This that. is hop, hop, drop, and roll. hop, drop, and roll. This is at a Noda Brewery in Charlotte, North Carolina. I lived up there for about four years, and this is my most favorite beer in the world. Oh my god! I love this. This is an IPA, and it is wonderful. I usually don't like IPAs, but I love IPAs. <laughs> this is good. Jeffrey. Oh, calling Ooh. Jeffrey. 
You okay. must try this beer, Jeff. Let everybody get a sip if you can. <laughs> Nicole it's said, amazing. Sean is Professor X. Shake that money maker. <laughs> Shake it. I, I knew that because I can read your mind. Yes, he can read your mind. No, Tommy, that is That's good. That's really good. That's Isn't that very, amazing? very good. So this is from no, North no, Carolina? No. Yeah, when it's cold. Yes, out of Charlotte. Yeah, one day when we go do our, our, our North Carolina tour of beer and sunshine. Look at North Carolina. We're coming yeah. for you. Does this shirt make me look fat? No, the fat does. Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right, so we're ready to go um, to break. So if everybody wants to go grab themselves another beer, we'll be back with more and with Sean and yes, more and, questions and your beer belly. Send us some more questions. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a beer baby. Hello. Hey. Yeah. Hop, drop, and roll, folks. <laughs> Everyone, hop, drop, and roll. Yeah. No, no <laughs> you know, that is a great way to get out of an awkward conversation. If somebody starts talking to you, and they're kind of like asking Tell stupid them questions. On fire? No, no, no. Oh, I was going to say light them on fire. No, no, no. <laughs> don't, don't say anything. Just fall on the floor and roll away. What are they going to do? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they look I would like, love to see that at a party. Like, I seriously, some guy so, uh, um, Excuse me. I remember um, you from years ago, and didn't you date so and so? And then you're like, uh, you're <laughs> they like, drop yeah. into a terrible and ninja then you roll. Just roll, right. roll away. Yes, you're like, done. <laughs> I will do it and yeah. probably hurt myself. All I'm right. So, me and Sean are going to do a round of the. Juling. 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 Is that the month before August? Juling. Juling. Is that the month before August? Okay. So we have to put fingers out. Do, do, why don't you do the like one, two, three without saying one, two, three? And then when you shoot, you got to yell your guess of what you think the total is. Just one be. hand? Yeah, just one yes. hand. One, through, one, or, one two, or three. You're going to put one, two, or three fingers. So it's going to be anywhere from two to six. Oh, two we to have six. A, oh wait a second. We have a special call in. We do. We do. We can take calls. We can take calls. All right. That shit's How's the this ball. gonna work? <laughs> well, do your thing. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh it's, wait a second! I heard something. I did too. It sounded like a cluck. No, I think that came from over here. Oh! Oh no! Oh no! The chicken. Chicken. Yeah, I know. There's chicken. So, okay. So what is Sean's view on the difference? Hey. Craft beer and macros. Yes, macros. craft beer and macros. But before you answer that, are you ready? Okay. One, two, three. Four horsemen of the apocalypse. No, no, no. no. Uh, um, 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 oh, shit. Uh, um, five geese away. Is probably well, that's wrong. cheating. That's clearly cheating. I lost. Thank you, China. You just ruined <laughs> drinking games, too. I lost. They got to do everything, huh? Everything. That's all right. They're industrious. But at least I, like I knew it. that three and two is five. Ah, oh, yes. Sean's view craft on the difference beer, between no. true craft beer and large company that calls themselves craft beer, the and macros that's from trying to get in the game from know. Brent Ellis. Thank you, Brent. Thank you, Brent. Um, <clears throat> so that's, I mean, that's a that is the, that's the question. That's that's what a lot of people are dealing with. That's what the industry is dealing with. Um, you know, a lot of us refer to those those brands that are uh, that are produced by the big macros as crafty. Mm -hmm. you know, they're, they're not real, they're not true craft beer, right. they're crafty. Um, but you know, things begin to get a little strange when you get uh, a, a true craft beer that is then acquired by one of these larger brands. Uh, we've seen it happen recently with a lot of big names, mm -hmm. uh, names that people really loved yes. and they're, they're really that, that's very dear to them. Like who? Uh, well, like Wicked Weed, yeah, uh, Wicked Elysium, Weed is a big one, yeah. uh, Elysium, Golden Road out in California. Uh, so these were these are brands that uh, are making great beer. They are no question that they when they when they started, uh, they were craft beer. They were independent. They were you know they were definitely part of you know they're part of the family. Mm -hmm. um, and then somebody comes in and writes them a really 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 big check, and uh, and now they belong. To, to the larger company. Basically, like what's going to happen to us when the Travel Channel or like Bravo or Absolutely. You know, some, some big network comes and they just want to make us stars overnight. We have to move to Los Angeles. And then, yeah. I'm not moving to Los Angeles. All right, maybe they'll move to Canada. We'll just go to, every, they do a lot well, of stuff. Well, everybody I'm films everything up in Canada so, anyway, yeah. so you, yeah. can, you, know, you can move up there. You can all go to Nova Scotia. Um, we had Michael Tompkins ask a question. He was actually our guest from Tonka Tap House. Oh, yeah, yeah. sure. And he was saying that... Um, um, Sam, yeah, craft is, six, craft million is six million barrels a year or less. Sam Adams sets the barrier. Oh. So I mean, I don't know if that's a, if that's a question or if that's just yeah, a statement. I, I mean, it's uh, that is that's that's handled um, with uh, the Brewers Association, um, 
who has, has sort of set the standard and sort of set the rules for what uh, for what craft beer is. Um, and th there's certainly <laughs> something to be, you know, th and, and yes, recently they, they moved it up from, uh, from, from two to six. Uh, and the, the general feeling is that, is that that was done to accommodate Sam Adams uh, and, and Yingling. Um, he wasn't bothering so, was you, was he? Oh, I barely even noticed he's okay. there. Um, but uh, so as I, I think you know, simply like, oh well, you know, they're they're gaming the system. That, you know, but you, I think you really have to look at what uh, a company like Boston Beer Company, who, who makes Sam Adams, uh, has done for for the industry and what they've done for a lot of well, breweries. Well, they opened the doors. For they opened like the doors for a lot of people. Uh, th their you know their beers may not be. Um, everybody's cup of tea, but not everybody's beers are now, everybody's. Do, do they consider themselves a craft? They do absolutely. Yeah. And, and Jim Cook, who is the, who is the 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 man at, the at Boston man. Beer Company, the guy in the bikini uh, in the commercials. Right, that's the one. <laughs> yeah. um, but he really is. is he, I mean, he's an, he's an icon in, in in the craft beer world because he is uh, he has st stayed independent. He has um, really helped a lot of other breweries along the way, uh, and he's really. Uh, laid the groundwork for a lot of a lot of breweries to come along. So a lot of people's success, whether or not they want to admit it, uh, you know, they owe their you know their success, or at least some of the groundwork that came before them, to companies like Boston Beer Company, Sierra Nevada, Anchor, some of mm. those some of those big names that have been around for so long. Yeah, Sierra Nevada, they're, they're, yeah. they make some good beers. I know everybody wa beer. probably wonder what I'm. If I don't write down my questions, remember I'm getting old. Well, you do a and great I job with the questions. You do so, a great job with um, questions. We've had people that have asked me, and actually some of the people that are here today have asked, do you have to be a brewery to be a member of the Florida Brewers Guild? No, you do not. Um, there you go. Now, there, there what, are, are the, what are the benefits for joining if you're not a brewer, uh, brewery? So we have a number, number of different of types of membership. The breweries, obviously, is, is the one. And, and one thing to remember is that the only voting members, and, then, and voting comes to when, it, when, it, and when it's electing board seats and things like that, the only voting members are, are breweries. So uh, out of all our members, the only ones who get to vote on who gets to sit on the board are, are the breweries. Right. But we also have um, members who are what we call uh, allied trade. So that's the, the, the companies that provide services to brewers. So it's uh, you know whether it's lawyers or insurance people massage or, therapists. or massage therapists. <laughs> if if I mean it could be they, if um, it, it could be uh, you know hop suppliers. It could be right. grain suppliers. It could be uh, labeling. All that kind of stuff. We also have retailers and we also have distributors. Okay. Where, where, no, would we, no, where would we fit in? You guys would be Allied Trade. Exactly. Now so we what can, about, what we can about certainly home, talk about membership after the yes, show. Yes. What about home brewers? <laughs> so that's an interesting category category of people because we've recently been talking about it. There's been some uh, some recent issues uh, that home brewers have run into with being able to pour their beers at festivals. It, yep. And, that, that's and, come up for and sure. It's, it's come up, and I um, I've gotten a lot of phone calls and emails and stuff about that. Say, hey, what can the Brewers Guild do uh, for this? Right now, the answer is nothing because we don't. There there isn't a uh, a legal precedent right now for that, uh, and the Brewers Association represents professional breweries. Right. That being said, uh, we absolutely support uh, the, the home brewers uh, around Florida. That's where a lot of our professional brewers got their start and where exactly. they've come from. Yeah. Um, so uh, it's it's definitely going to be a topic of conversation in upcoming uh, meetings. Uh, things if if there are ways that the Florida Brewers Guild uh, can work. To uh, to maybe you know help bring down some of those barriers, um, it's not an easy thing to do. There's a lot of uh, a lot of obstacles, a lot of roadblocks uh, that have been put in place, uh, e even for professional brewers if they don't have a distributor to get their beer poured at festivals. So uh, being able to, but we want we absolutely want home brewers to be a part of uh, of the community. Uh, we just haven't figured out how to make them part of the guild yet. So that's well, no, and that's the thing, like. I mean, a brew. I mean, you have to start somewhere. Sure. A home brewer starts at home and then decides, okay. <laughs> oh, Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> oh, chicken! You and I. That's it. Parking lot after the show. He's just trying to fix you. Oh, I'm gonna rip him a new he one. He said. He said you had a screw loose. Oh. <laughs> is that what that is? <laughs> no. But I mean, I mean, home brewers are actually the basis. <clears throat> Of the big, I mean, if they're not home brewing and don't get the love of brewing, then they don't move on to being like a big right. And it's, I mean, it's definitely it's, a brewmaster. It's, yeah, it's definitely uh, 
you know, that there, there's so many home brewers that have, have worked their way into the professional brewing uh, community. It's, I mean, a lot of the breweries that have opened up in the past several years, uh, I know the head brewers because I knew them as a home brewer. You know, right. I, I tried their beers at, you know, at homebrew competitions or that sort of thing. So um, there's definitely a, a place for that. Um, just haven't figured out quite how to, you know, le- legally speaking, how to how to make all of that. And work. I mean, and some of the home brewers make some really good. But then brewers. you have oh, the fantastic. ones that, eh, you know, yeah. are you more like a swallower, a spitter? Oh my gosh, what's <laughs> happening? I know he's being. Gosh, get your own hat. <laughs> Did you eat barbecue sauce for <laughs> supper tonight or something? You know, this is this this logo Jeez. here is Duck Dynasty. You know what they do, don't you? Yeah. They make little collars so they can shoot chickens and ducks and stuff like that. So. Denise Hoover said, "Great show." You don't show, want this so. hat. Thank you, Denise. <laughs> Very informative anyway. for sure. As I was saying. Yes. So, Spit or um, swallow? What's your deal? Like, oh, you always, have a go beer, all, you know, always, like, always go all the way. Yeah, always yeah. swallow. Well, all right. So Got to be guys, respectful. You guys have an annual conference every year. This year it's going to be in Orlando. Is it in Orlando every year? So actually, this is our first year doing the conference. Okay. So this is a um, this is a this is a trade show and and uh, and conference. We're going to have. Uh, hey, hey, listen. I'm sorry. We'll have we'll have sessions and panels and and all that sort of thing. Yeah, sometimes uh, I lose my temper. Know, it's not people cool. talking whether it's yeah. you know how to brew with certain ingredients to uh, you know navigating the. Uh, trademark law. So we've got all these different kinds of panels for, for wherever you might work in the industry. Uh, there'll be something there for you. We'll have uh, some great speakers. Actually, Jim Cook, who I who I mentioned, you know, the, mm-hmm. the head of, of um, Boston Beer Company. He's one of our speakers. Garrett Oliver from Brooklyn Brewing sure. will be there. And this uh, is in this is in October. And, and this is actually in August. This in is in, August, in about okay. three weeks. Uh, so th- this is the, a big deal. It's our very first one. Um, Joey Redner from uh, from Cigar City will be there as nice. well. Um, he, is it? He's uh, he's been involved in a lot of different businesses, hasn't he? Uh, you're probably thinking of his father. Um, oh, so, so Joe Redner Jr. Okay. This, so this is Joey. Uh, right. Yeah. So, so he's dad's the so one. So how can who's how like can beer and sunshine strip come up. to this conference? Yeah. And, um, and like tape it and take pictures and so if um, you certainly can get in touch with me, we can talk about that as well as uh, if you go to temp, uh, Tampa Bay Brewers Guild dot, you know dot, dot org, um, you can find out all about the conference there as well. Awesome! Uh, so it's going to be a really great it's a really great uh, event. Uh, people people coming from all over the state as well as outside of the state. Uh, we have a, a contingent of Canadian <coughs> suppliers coming down as well. What? Which will be great. Canadian. Yep. Oh boy. Yep. Well, so it's time very excited for, about it's that. It's time for us to take another break. Um, St. Michael's Brewing said that they're going to be at your uh, sweet. sweet. That's nice. What's up, St. Michael's? And you know what? Maybe beer and Where they at? Of? Where's St. Michael's out of? Oh, they maybe they'll state? let us know. The in-state? I don't know. Well, we got to take a break, Tweet but us. we'll be right back. Tweet us. Oh yeah! Let's <laughs> <laughs> back. Rubbing that chair a little too. Static hard. electricity, baby. <laughs> Static electricity. Charging up. Charging up. Oh, yeah. Okay, the chair's going home with you now. You understand yeah, that, well, right? Yeah. Um, You've got it all worked up now. It's not. You know, leave. hey, people. You know, <laughs> anybody who's watching this. You know, I never know where, where what camera to look at. But uh, if you're watching this and you, and you like what you see, you know, m- mainly, you know, that's no. If you if you like our show, let us know, please. We love this whole questions thing. You know, with the Twitter and yeah. Facebook and all that. That is awesome. Keep doing that. Ask us questions. Ask anything you want. And uh, you know, subscribe to our our channel on YouTube. Look up Beer and Sunshine. What's oh, there? St. Michael's, Michael's Brewing. is oh, from Navarre, Navarre, Navarre Florida. Florida. They nice. rep the cool. panhandle. Cool, rep the panhandle. Yes. Nice. Well, you know, make, a, make a weekend of it. Come on down. Yeah, um, nobody wants to but, like But, uh, you know, subscribe to our channel on YouTube. Uh, like us on Facebook. Uh, Buy our shirt. Mail us money, checks, cash, whatever you want. Just yep. find your family heirlooms, jewelry, whatever. No, just send kidding. us. Send us your credit card number. Send us your credit card. <laughs> no, don't do that. <laughs> no, just you know, like us and subscribe and all that good stuff. And but uh, or send us emails. Tom at beer yeah, and sunshine. Sure. Dot beer. Christina, Christina beer and sunshine. Up here. If you have a brewery, and they're anywhere in Florida, spe- spe- more specifically the Tampa Bay area for right now. Uh, tell them you, you know. Tell them to get on the show. Tell them to come and uh, and be part of this. Um, but. Uh, yeah, we want to hear from you. We want to, chicken, we want to, we want to connect with you. <laughs> oh, and Facebook.com forward slash chicken, chicken. Yeah. at chicken. So, so you um, can do that too if you're, you there's want a to. Few, there's <laughs> a few events would, happening this week. Hoppening. Hoppening, hoppening this weekend. Yes. Um, Zephyr Hills, whom we've met at several events that we've gone and we to. we do parties. Invite us to your house. We'll come yeah. eat with you and drink your beer. Send us beer too. Yes. Like my friends Katie and Andy Minus did in Michigan. They, they sent us beer and now we're drinking it. We could be drinking beer that you send us. 
Ooh, that would be amazing. Incredible, especially if you make your own beer. Ooh, even better. Even better. Yeah, you home brewers. So Zephyr Hills Brewing tomorrow is having a around the world burgers food truck. You can come out and try unique burgers from is around Kim, is the Kim, world. Is Kim going to be there? Kim is going to be there. Sweet. Yes. She's awesome. Palm Harbor um, House of Beer is having their Summer Beer Olympics from 6 till 9. You can compete against other teams in various beer games. Who's probably that? Which one? Um, Palm Harbor House Palm of Beer. Palm Harbor House. Have yeah. we been there? No, we have not. Let's we have it. not. So we need, we need to go there. Um, and also down at Dunedin House of Beer, which we have been at, yes, they're great, having great. a pint and puppy <clears throat> wash. From puppy wash. Yes. Uh oh. So I you know can, my wife Lee's going to yeah. want to be so all about that. So you can that. drink so a beer while your pooch is getting pampered and washed and having their nails done. And the money is going to help sponsor a hero for St. Jude because they're doing a big marathon. Uh -huh. And on Sunday, if you're into yoga and stretching, you can go to hate Bar hate yoga. Bar Barley Mo. Um, $10. It includes a pint of beer and the class. Bring your own mat. And if you don't have a mat, you can bring a Tommy or a Sean. Or any <laughs> screw flat earth. Oh, oh round yeah, the globe, screw right. flat earth. There's no such thing as flat earth. We would have fallen off by yeah, now. Your, your handwriting was like chicken scratch. It is. <sighs> uh, Brew Bus in Tampa on <laughs> Sunday is partnering up with Second Chance Friends, which is an organization that helps dogs. More get, puppy stuff? Yeah, get yeah, out of um, kennels. Like crazy. Um, they're going to help rescue Frankie, who was a rescue dog. He's actually gotten sick, so um, his... Um, foster family needs some help with veterinary care. Um, care. So 50% of the proceeds from beer sales from 2 to 6 will be donated to help the little doggy. So. Well, I know he and didn't get sick. And you and I both know, love animals. I know he so. didn't get sick from drinking Brew Bus's beer. No. Because they make some beer is excellent awesome. beer. Can you guys hear us burping on, <laughs> on the microphone? Is that, oh my gosh, am I hitting my chest? I'm so sorry. My bad. Hey, yeah. I didn't mean to Chris do that. Chris Fairchild. But uh, anyway, he says, don't great, mean to burp in the Great mic. show. Chris, is he, he's a friend of yours. Chris is, Chris is a friend of mine. Uh, he is also the current chair of Tampa Bay Beer Week. Nice. So, yes, he's a... Uh, He's an awesome guy, um, and he'd be a great guest as yeah. well. Yeah, yeah. He's a well, we, we he's need, we need certified Cicerone, um, all around, you know, knows all kinds of, you know, knows everything about beer, um, and is just a well, Tampa general, general stand-up like guy. We, we, we were talking about that with Matt from Mastery's Brewing in yes. St. Pete Beach. Yep. We were, you know, Christine and I uh, had a little, little, uh, little meeting little with meeting him and Val. Him, him and Val, really nice. Val, what an what a awesome, awesome uh, asset to that brewery as well, but uh, yeah, he was saying we need to be part of Tampa Bay Beer Week, for sure. Like yeah. we need to, we need Absolutely. to somehow. Get, yeah, Chris you know, said you need to in. spread the whole beer and sunshine, spread the word. Yeah, Absolutely. hook us up. The least you could do since you didn't bring us any beer. I, I, <laughs> I, you beer, you have like three different kinds. I can of beer. bring you Chris Fairchild. I can there you go. Bag him up. Bring okay. him over here. I, mean, I, yeah, I have plenty of duct tape and chloroform. I can get him here. Perfect. Yes. Yeah, Oh, excellent. duct tape and chloroform. <laughs> wow. Nice. Oh, we can have a fun weekend. Let's send our wives on a vacation together. <laughs> there you Back go. To <laughs> Chicken and duct it. tape. All right, there you go. Oh, that's not surprising at all. No. Chicken. Gosh. <laughs> but yeah, Tampa mm. Bay Beer Week, we need to make the magic happen for that. We need to be at like... Whatever's, everything that's going on, we need to be part of it. Yeah. Well, you so, should probably have them on before uh, the Halfway There event. And yeah. so it's a big, it's the big halfway to... To, um, to the next to, to Beer, beer week. week, yeah. Uh, and and it's Beer a, it's Week a is great, in March, right? It is, and it yeah. is a great festival with amazing the beers. The Halfway is a good festival? Yes, it's, a, it's an amazing when festival. When is that, exactly? Uh, that, that is in, I believe, the end of September. Halfway. It's at, yeah, so it's halfway to, to March. So it, it's in September. Um, and, uh, yeah, you'll definitely want to to be a part of that if you awesome. can because it will be great sure. beers from all over I'll the place. I'll drop them a line. Yeah. So I've played the game. Kate, Katie and Andy are watching from, from yes. Michigan. Yes, yes. Thank so you so you, much, Katie and Andy. You Again need to the play beers. the game with Sean. Cheers. All right, let's all right. do it. Okay. Um, hold on. i got to think of my number. Do you have your number? I do. Uh, okay, and hmm, hmm, four children. Six. Oh, you uh, guys are both wrong. Five. Oh, so we both drink then. Six what? Sorry, though? China. I, this I, game I, is an I, epic I fail. This is retarded. <laughs> I was gonna say six, six, six. Number of the beast, but that wasn't. Oh <laughs> so, no! Yeah. See, and that makes but that was me wrong think, anywhere. I always, whenever somebody Little says Iron that Maiden joke, action, I, like I always tell my other joke. Do you know what? If you know six, six, six is the number. The, of the number beast, of the beast. Yeah. What is six, six, seven? The, the f That's the neighbor of the beast. Oh, right. All right. <laughs> she just writes this stuff. Like, <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. It's why Bad she's, jokes. It's why, why she's, uh, this is really, it's oh, like, they say it's my jokes. show. This is her show, really. This is her show. 
She's the one with the questions, and uh, she always has something positive to to uh, to contribute here. Me, not 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 so much. Couple of <laughs> couple of jokes here and there, maybe, uh, but mostly I just sit here and drink beer. And there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, nothing, nothing, nothing wrong, wrong with that. That's says, what the says show a guy is from the, the Florida Brewery. Well, because if, if people didn't sit around and drink beer, then I'd be out of a job. Exactly. True. So, true. And we wouldn't be here. Would and we, we wouldn't, we be, wouldn't here. be here. And, the, and the, really, the world would be less of a place. Oh yeah, the world would be a pretty crappy place. We probably would be no UFOs flying around, zipping, you know, because there'd be nothing fun to see here, right? <laughs> be no alien abductions. Well, they wouldn't want to have anything. No, to do no, with no. Us. There would still be alien abductions. No, just well. I don't know. I don't just, think. Just just not as good stories. Yeah, probably not as good as stories. Yes. And there will be less funny videos on Facebook. Yeah. I mean, we've all seen you those videos. You can't just repeat the stuff that they say in our ear. Yeah, no. That was but, his joke. But I mean our 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 technical uh, person here in the background, he's But a lot of good YouTube's uh, told. YouTube videos start with hold my beer. Especially in Canada. Canada. Yes. Hold it's my like, beer. Hold oh, my yeah. beer. Hold my beer. Yeah, I'm going to do something, gonna do something really trans- stupid. I'm going to do something really stupid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How have I never made those videos? I've done so many dumb I, things. I'm surprised. You, you probably didn't stop to make the video. Yeah. I probably just kept my beer in my exactly. hand. Exactly. Well, he that. didn't yes. want to put his beer down. <laughs> right. Ask the cops. They'll tell you. I was still <laughs> holding the beer. Yeah. Man. So um, do you guys have any other events coming up besides the... Um... So we will, yes. In, uh, in November, we'll be having... Our uh, our barrel aged and sour fest up in Jacksonville, uh, that'll be at Intuition Brewing, uh, and then of course uh, I'm already in the planning for March for our Florida Brewers Guild mm-hmm. Festival. Uh, could, which will, you think we could get some of our cool beer and sunshine shirts put together with your stuff on the back, beer and sunshine on the front, and maybe you guys can take with you to that thing? Or it's entirely possible. We can certainly discuss you. that. Yeah, yeah. nice. Yeah. By the way, if you guys want beer and sunshine shirts, just go to uh, beer beer and sunshine store. Dot com. com and uh, you know the pictures aren't the best and it's a uh, it's a legit little website you can buy stuff there but anyway just go get get yourself a t-shirt if you don't have one you need one because when you wear this shirt in public people will grab you by the arm and ask you where you got it because exactly. they think it's so cool they go nuts for it really yeah it's a fashion statement last weekend I, I sold quite a few shirts there's people in the audience that have shirts happening? what is chicken doing back there Oh, chicken was taking a leak back that's then. All right. oh, mm-hmm. That's alright. As long disgusting. as he doesn't take a dump right here on the right in oh front of us, gosh. that would be embarrassing. That's disgusting. Uh, I would, that would, I would feel like my parents did when I was a child. You know, everything I did reflected on them, and I was a, quite an embarrassment. Chicken is somewhat of an embarrassment, I would say. I'm a bit of ashamed of him. Of course, I didn't <laughs> hire him. It wasn't my idea. Oh. oh. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Could you hear me? All right, that's chicken, two points. Chicken doesn't like you either. That's all right. I threw a glass at his head a little while ago. Exactly. He can throw a Nerf football or something at me. That's totally fine. All right. So Brent Ellis wants to know if, there, if there's going to be any more socials. Yes, there are. Uh, we are working on the next one, which um, will probably be in a couple of weeks. Uh, we were trying to get one put together for next week, but um, just the logistics didn't work out. But we'll, we will have one more before, um, uh, before the conference, and then we will have another one in September, which will be in St. Petersburg, uh, and uh, then the next one after that uh, will be in November. Actually, it won't be a social in November. That's when we have our um, uh, our, our event up at Intuition, and then we'll we'll be planning them every other month. Is is the plan? Put us right. on your list and invite yes. us. Absolutely. 15, we have 15 seconds. Sean, thank you so much. Thank you very much. It was Pleasure. awesome. <laughs> Sean, the Brewers Guild. Thank you. Have a good night, everybody. Have a beer tastic day. It's been a rough work day. The bounce is busting your ass. All you can think of is a nice cold glass of beer and sunshine. Life can get you down, but you can take all the lids. Nothing in this world out of beer and sunshine cannot fizz. Oh, it's a beautiful day for some beach and tan. Grab a few friends, put your feet in the sand with some beer. Sunshine, oh, oh, beer and sunshine, yeah, beer and sunshine.